right guys, I decided to uh, try a new game. Um, I'll be honest, I have played this before, um, and I've seen quite a few videos on it, but I found it quite fun, and so I decided to start a new game and uh, just see how far I can go. Um, I'm not sure if anybody will watch this or anybody will care, but I'm doing it for fun, so if you watched and you liked it, uh, let me know in the comments or give it a like or whatever people on YouTube do these days. Um, so, for those of you that aren't in the know or haven't read the title yet, this is a called Seven Days to Die. Uh, it's a zombie apocalypse game. Uh, haven't seen any zombies yet, but there's an elk queue. Um, but it's a lot, it's got like a lot of like Minecraft type, uh, points to it. So, you know, obviously like chopping down a tree with your fists is probably not the most efficient thing. In fact, I know it's not, but, um, I'd rather not waste my bullets. And actually, did I see it? I missed a log. So we have zombies. Probably not going to waste my bullets on those either, but, you know, we'll see. I should probably have a couple of shells in my handsies. So, where are we on the map? We are... Oh, I shouldn't go this way. This is a bad way. Ooh, maybe I can kill that buck. Or I could scare it away. You know, one is almost as good as the other. So, in the daytime, the zombies are very slow, which is why I'm not terribly concerned about them, and I'm definitely not going to try to kill too many of them unless I want to stick around in an area for very long. Um, the idea is that you survive at night. Uh, the zombies become a lot more threatening because they're much quicker. And um, yeah, so basically your first day is spent running around looking for supplies and then eventually holding yourself up in a base or a makeshift base or whatever you decide to do. I am going to make my base in the little town. Uh, I think a lot of people call it the city. It's Deersville and I'm actually heading kind of towards it. So along the way I'm just going to pick up a bunch of stuff. I don't really care at first what it is. Um, I just grab things. Probably punch down a couple of trees because uh, I could use the wood you can make uh, sticks and sharpen sticks and then um, and spike traps and things like that with wood and you also need it in order to... Oh god, that scared me. I'm easily scared, by the way, so you're going to go ahead and probably laugh at me a whole lot when uh, once in a while a zombie pops out and I freak out because actually they don't really pop out, but they can sneak up on you. It happens. And it's scary. So apparently I'm super lame right now and I'm not hitting this tree very hard, especially not as hard as the first one. I should probably just use a couple of shotgun shells and suck it up. Oh, I was hitting the rock for God's sake. No wonder. It's like I don't even see anything happening on this tree. It's already kind of like broken looking. going to sigh at me again soon. There's really like no zombies here. It's fine with me. Gives me time and... Oh. Time to grab my stuff. Um, with the wood uh, tree trunks, you can also make some giant spikes, which I have yet to make. I've never made them before, so I don't know like how, how good they are or what they do. I assume they damage things, but... I wonder if they last longer than the spikes. I kind of hope they would, because if they're made out of these, it's a lot more wood. Ooh, I'm on Lake Road and Bell. Somebody could come pick me up at Lake Road and Bell and just bring me to my new base. That'd be cool. And bring a bunch of supplies so I don't have to do it. So yeah, you pretty much uh, run around, get a bunch of stuff, and then at night I'll probably end up... Uh, don't dump. No dumping. You need to rest here and camp, but no dumping. So at night I'll probably end up doing some digging and stuff, and 
chances are fairly decent that I will cut out the boring things because who wants to watch boring things? I mean, if you want to watch the, the really boring stuff, just let me know and these will be super long and full of me being either retarded or silent or both. Although you might not even be able to tell that I'm being retarded if I'm being silent because you can't see me. <laughs> I don't have a camera. I'm sorry. What's this? So, am I writing? I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I am. Um, so yeah, you guys should check out this game. I think right now it's kind of their, um, their buy button or their, their buy page is kind of broken right now, which kind of sucks. So you can't actually buy the game right at this moment, but I've heard that they're going to try fixing it in the next couple of days, so... Chances are very good that by the time anybody ever sees this YouTube video that this will be... It'll probably not even be an alpha anymore. Right now it's an alpha one, so it pretty much just came out um, a few weeks ago. I didn't actually start playing until last week. I actually saw a stream that Sacriel did and I used to watch his Daisy stuff all the time. I was fascinated even though I can't shoot for shit, which you'll be able to see shortly. But um Yep, I, I saw that he was streaming and on a whim I just decided to check out whatever game he was playing and uh it looked really cool. Hello Shambi See, I can't even headshot things. These guys are really hard. Not that time, but they tend to be very hard to loot. Um, I think because sometimes their bodies kind of go askew into the world. Uh, it seems to me that like if you aim for their head when you're trying to loot, that you have a better chance at it. But um, maybe I, that's just luck. Who knows? Um, I also turned the volume down pretty far in this game, so hopefully it's not too quiet. But the zombies, especially at night, are so loud. They, like, you can't turn down the zombie volume. It's, it's ridiculous. So, let's see. I want to have a home, I think, actually on the north side? I don't know. Can't tell. I want it to be a two-story house. I know that for sure. And, um... I don't know what this stuff's for. I don't know what the candy's for at all. I want it to be, um, a two-story house. And I want it to be near one of these main roadie road things here. But other than that, I don't really know. Um, do I want to be on the north or the south? S south? decisions. Which one? Um, yeah, I guess I'll probably be on the south because then when I need to make runs for sand, it won't it take slightly less time. So yeah, I'm just pretty much avoiding the zombies at this point and just scavenging as much stuff as I can because um, yeah. It's going to be a long night of either waiting or hoping that I'm able to dig. The first time I ever made a house, or a, rather a, a fort, or a barricade, or whatever, a thing, a bunker, a stuff. Whenever I, whenever I made one, oh Jesus, that was a little violent. Um, first time I ever made one, I, I, I thought that my, my beautiful fortress was totally secure. And it turned out that it really wasn't. So I started digging, thinking, oh, well, you know, the whole night, it's going to be a bunch of zombies outside hitting at my walls, and I'll just be able to sit here and mine. And I get, like, five or six blocks down, and all of a sudden my, ha my face is getting eaten off because they've breached my house, and I'm totally screwed. So hopefully I don't make that mistake again. I might just hide on the roof. Who knows? We'll see. That might be kind of boring, <laughs> but if I do end up doing that, then uh, I'm going through puberty. Um, if I end up doing that, I will probably just cut most of it out, because it can get really boring at night the first couple of times that you play 
or first couple of nights, rather. Um, I'm punching the cans because they give me extra metal, and I've always had a really hard time finding, um, finding the iron underground. Um, maybe I'm not looking in the wrong, right place, but who knows? We'll see. It's, it's easy metal. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Easy scrap metal, so I might as well get it. I wonder if I'm even going the right way. I don't think this is the main road that I wanted. Did I not hit her in the freaking hat? Oh, I'm just really bad at this. Hit him in the head. No problem. There's nothing? You have nothing, Nursey? You have nothing, Mr. Naked Man? Makes you kind of wonder, like, what was that guy doing when he became a zombie? Well, well, actually, no. Don't think about that. Forget I said anything. He was probably not doing anything weird. No. I punched the grass. The grass is gone. Now I have a stick. They owe me. Okay, I'm almost done getting all this metal. This is a pretty decent, decent amount of metal for uh, my first night. Hopefully. Let's see. Cut to like 15 minutes later when I'm dead and getting my face eaten while I'm dead. I'm very hopeful. I'm very optimistic about this game. Seriously, though, it, it is a very cool game. I've been enjoying it thoroughly, even if it can be pretty difficult sometimes. Ah. I think this is the house that I made my first um, thing out of, like on my multiplayer server. Seems about right. These fat guys take a couple of... Oh. Why is this game always making me eat my words? This guy's gonna take a couple of hits. Shoot him and he's dead once. These guys don't. Shoot him and he's dead once. Finally, I'm right. Look at that sexy body. There's nothing. Okay, so... I'm almost done. What time is it? 15.38. Still got a few hours until it's super dark. Uh, the one good thing about non-multiplayer on this uh, in particular is that I don't know where my my thought process was oh right not lag no lag the lag has killed me several times on uh, on my multiplayer server because it'll think that I'm much further away than I really am when I'm trying to kill some zombies and then so I'll like back up having seeing the zombie walk up to me and I'm not far enough away and they're like hitting the air 10 feet in front of me and um, I'm getting hurt. It's kind of annoying. So hopefully that won't happen because, you know, it's all on my computer. I'm getting flowers because flowers are pretty. I have no idea if they have any use in the game at all. Um, eventually I'll probably come out and tear down those fences too for more metal. Um, if you work at it, you can get a whole lot of the scrap metal, which really helps out. So, and I've been getting a decent amount of ammo. That's good. So, in the morning when I crawl out of my bunker, crying from all the noise that I experienced the night before, or having had died several times, we'll see. Oh god, I need to make a bedroll. That is important. I don't want to spawn anywhere but here. Oh god, no! Oh, see, I got scared because I heard something and there's nothing there. Trigger happy much? <laughs> it's probably the death thrall of the Zambi. Who keeps cloth in their mailbox? I mean, really. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that you could hit the mailboxes and get some... That's good. So I'll have to shoot mailboxes too. Okay, so I want to be right at this fork in the road. So two-story house. So there's that blue one right there, and there's this blue one over here. I'm used to that part of town, so I might as well. I might as well come over here. That one looks like it's a little bit fortified anyway. 
So it's probably a little early for me to go in, but I want to because the sooner I do it, the better, I think. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, see, when I kill the porch, the porch gives me loots. I like that. I like loots. That's why I play most games, because I have loots. Loots, I like you. So, I think I'm going to put a moat around the house. And then uh, I'm going to basically make the house just the top part of my underground base. Because having an underground base clearly is the coolest. I don't know if you guys know, but yeah, underground bases are the shizzle. I'm not white at all. Yes, I'm very white. Because um, I said shizzle and it didn't sound cool <laughs> at all. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Ha ha! Yeah, I'm home. Burr, burr, burr. Certainly nothing can get in. Things are going to really easily be able to get in here. Okay. Let's start working on stuff. Um, I don't really want to make that many. How about this many? That's more, more gooder. That's more better. -er. Um, do I want to make planksies? Yes. Oh, jeez. We left one. That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna make sticks. Sticks make sharpened sticks. I'll make a bunch of sharpened sticks. Sharpened sticks are cool. And then from there, I will need wood spikes. And I'm gonna need a lot of them. Because that's pretty much gonna be my primary defense this first time. Boop, 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 boop. So you just keep hitting. Once you've discovered and made a thing, then you're good to go. You can just keep on clicking and that's all you need. Oh, Jesus! See? See? See what I do? See what I do when I get excited? I screw everything up. Oh, my flowers. My flowers. How are they even up in the air? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Now I'm stuck here. Tote screwed.